It appears the Everett City Council is prepared to say no thanks to $6 million in federal money that would help pay for 16 new police officers. The city applied for that money months ago. It was awarded uh, one of the largest amounts in the country. As Amy Marino reports, the money isn't totally free for Everett taxpayers and comes during some budget struggles. Mayor Cassie Franklin traveled to Washington, D.C. and worked with lobbyists to secure this money. Then on Wednesday at the meeting, when one council member made a motion to formally accept the money, no other council member said anything. It surprised both the police chief and the mayor. We were looking to, to staff additional motorcycle officers to address some of the neighborhood traffic complaints that, that I've heard about for years. Everett Police Chief Dan Templeman says there's no shortage of places where he needs help in his department just a shortage of officers to do the work. We haven't increased our staffing in patrol in several years, and I hear often from community members that it takes too long for officers to respond. The chief hoped grant money would alleviate some of that pressure, but now it looks like the council wants to skip it. While the grant covers most of the costs, the city would have to pay for equipment and associated expenses and cover the salaries when the grant ends in three to five years. The police officers union was critical of the lack of action and posted a message on Facebook, ending it with the words, we hear you loud and clear, even implying through local talk radio, this might be a different way to push a defunding agenda. They declined to talk on camera today, saying they're hoping the council will readdress the issue. Is this defunding? You know, is this politically motivated or is this purely just dollars and cents concerns about, you know, being able to support these positions long term? Well, I am sure the council is concerned about being support to support these positions long term because we're all concerned about the, the budget, uh, the situation that we're in, the structural deficit and the impacts of COVID. But I think it's uh, public safety is a, is a really important priority. I reached out to the council. Council member Scott Bader, he's the one that made the initial motion and said he still supports accepting the money. Council member Liz Vogeli said that there's numerous reasons she does not support accepting the money, including concerns about it incurring more costs for the city at a time when they're cutting other departments and things like the fact the grant does not allow them to hire more social workers. They must act by September 8th or they'll lose the money completely. In Everett, Amy Marino, King 5 News.